What is up, guys? We are back at it again with our Sterion, the first place Mitsubishi of Spocom 2021. Freaking awesome. Definitely a big surprise. Um, well, we are actually <laughs> going to be going to uh, Elite Tuner now, which is in two days from now, but we're not really stressing it too much because there's not much left to do with the Sterion. Uh, as you saw in the last video, we did do the front coilovers, but we didn't have time to do the rear. So now we're actually uh, going to complete that job finally. So we're going to be on all four coilovers. <laughs> okay, so this is what we wound up doing. Let me uh, quick recap. Our coilover that we're using is actually intended for a Lancer Evolution 4. Uh, they are max speeding rods, 26 way adjustables. Our strut mounts were purchased from legion elite motorsports um uh they, they bolt directly to the max speeding rods pillow ball so that is awesome uh the rears uh not so much we actually have to modify we had to modify it a little bit we uh i'll show you in a little bit when we get there but we did have to open up the um elongated hole that he has to adjust the camber uh it doesn't fit in the max speeding rods i think that's more intended for uh factory style strut but anyway, besides that, I uh, can't complain too much. They're, they're not, I mean, they're working. Uh, so this is what we wound up doing. Now, obviously the fronts were uh, welded in. So we were just able just to weld the threading right onto the tube. But the back is a complete strut assembly. So one of two things we can do is um, try to find the uh, two bolt flange. Uh, it's a little bit difficult because it is a 54 millimeter, which is uh, a little bit bigger than, is it bigger or smaller than two inches? I think it's a little bit bigger, but anyway, it'll be just be a little off. So what we wound up doing was um, our struts that we have in here are actually, uh, the rear struts are actually uh, blown already. I mean, they're not that old, but they're already blown. So... I didn't know if it was a good idea or not, but what we did was we punctured a small hole in the top to relieve the pressure. Uh, I'm not really recommending this to anybody or whatever. I'm not saying this is the correct way to do it. But um, what we wound up doing was uh, removing the strut rod out of here. Pretty much there's a, there's, a, there's a metal cap. I don't know where it went. There's a metal cap that goes on here, and also it is uh, folded over right on the top. So what I'm up doing was slowly knocking the pinch weld open and uh, it relieved the pressure and allowed us to saw around it and remove the uh, strut rod. So now we have a empty case here. And look, we already have obviously the proper two bolt flange and um, right the right um, type of uh, mounting tube. So what we're gonna do is pretty much cut this down and slip our sleeve over there, weld it up and reinstall it. So it makes things a little bit easier, a little a lot cheaper than just purchasing a coilover kit. Um, coil, a lot of coilover kits for the Sterion, as most of us already know, are made to order. And we don't always have the luxury of waiting. And we need things now. <laughs> so <laughs> so this pretty much uh, you know, help, helps us along. And then I'm pretty sure if anyone were to want to do this to their Sterion, I'm pretty sure that the rear struts are already blown as it is so we're just gonna reuse that for the casing so cool so we're gonna pull out a Kimbo slice and pretty much get the inch cut it down to one inch and then remove these uh, brake line uh, mounting tabs and reweld it on the new body We went ahead and cut down the max speeding rod uh, rear threaded body, and so you can see we already chopped down, we already chopped down our factory or our rear strut. So obviously that is going to fit over that just fine. Get that. So we're going to go ahead and grind off all the paint right here, and um, give it a good weld right there. But yeah, that's freaking perfect. Obviously it's the same uh, inner diameter as the outer diameter of this tube so we just got to make sure that it's going to sit down all the way equally 
all the way around, which it should, but that gives it a nice little channel to shoot some weld in. Give it a nice sturdy weld. And then also, this is what I was talking about earlier, the rear uh, strut mount right here. Uh, this elongated hole needs to actually be opened up a little bit wider because the max speeding rod, uh, the strut threading is a lot bigger. So yeah, that's pretty much all we got to do. And then um, paint it up, put it back together, or actually put the um, brake line tabs on. So, But let's go ahead and get this all grinded off so we could uh, get ready to weld it. All right, guys, and there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and, head and uh, just paint it over it real quick. I already welded the, the little brake line um, bracket tabs for it. But look at that. It looks 100% legit. That is a legitimate coilover kit if I've ever seen one. But you can see that we we elongated the top. So we haven't secured it yet, but you can see it has a camber adjustment on it. It's also the little damper control. So very good. So what we're gonna do right now, actually have the other one already installed. Let me go on over here. All right, and there is one of them installed. I still gotta actually weld the bracket onto that one still. I haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it is. And, uh, it seems to be sitting fine. We did already kind of test fit the wheel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some measurements from here to here. And then also from make sure from here to here matches. So that way uh, I can put the setting like that on the other side. And it should, it should match on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys. It's actually the next day. Uh, so today is Friday, day before Elite Tuner. Um, we stood up a little. We stood up really late, uh, getting the back suspension all adjusted and everything. Uh, my camera did die, so I just thought I'd just film the outro now today. So there we go. That's what we wound up with on our uh, Evolution Four Max Beating Rods Stereon Coilover Conversion. So it's it's evenly matched. Well, front and rear now our dampers are set uh, the preload is set perfectly um, let me see if I can let's see even when I oh, doesn't move at all but I know it seems super super stiff right now but actually when you drive it it does uh, it does actually ride extremely smooth believe it or not so we have our rear damper set at 18 so once again they are 26 way adjustable now look at that very nice perfect it's exactly what the stereo needed cool so it did rain really briefly so all right but yeah that's it um once again day before day before elite tuner all right not much changed in Spokom, which was only a couple weeks ago, but wish us luck. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments you have below, or let your hate flow. If you have any questions on maybe something you missed or I forgot to mention uh, to install these coilovers, um, just leave me, leave me a message in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put uh, Max uh, Speeding Rod, well, pretty much where we got everything from. I'll go ahead and put that in the description below. Also, you can get an extra 15% off when you go to maxspeedingrods.com and put in coupon code SRG for Sleeper Garage. And uh, maybe you want to tackle this yourself. But um, definitely a, a money-saving solution to uh, coilovers for uh, the Starion. Very good. All right. We'll see you at Elite Tuner. Save it.